My name is Anna Singleton, and for my oral report uh, for English 231, I did John Winthrop's A Model of Christian Charity. Uh, the way we're going to start this out is I want to introduce to you who John Winthrop was and part of his background. He came from a very wealthy family, which gave him the access to the best tutors, the best teachers, and all that good stuff, and it allowed him to be very well educated, and he ended up graduating from Cambridge University. He was also part of the Massachusetts Bay Colony, and some of y'all may know that the Massachusetts Bay Colony is the second colony established in the New World, America, uh, after the Plymouth Colony. And the Plymouth Colony is a colony that basically disappeared, and we have little to no remnants of what happened or anything about them anymore. Uh, he is a Puritan lawyer. John Winthrop is a Puritan lawyer, not a minister. A lot of people do confuse him as being a minister since um, a model of Christian charity could be considered a sermon, but he was never ordained as a minister. He was married three different times due to the first two uh, dying. Uh, the second one died during childbirth, and we're not sure if that child died with the mother or if he survived the childbirth. So out of the 15 children that he did bestow, we know of at least 10 that survived infancy. We're not for sure if it's 10 or 11, but we know for sure it's 10. Okay, what is a model of Christian charity? For lack of better words, it's a sermon on how a Christian sh should act towards another Christian, whether they be rich or poor. This is saying a king, if a, if a beggar comes to a king, the king should act like that beggar is a king as well with the same respect, the same love, the same compassion, and all that good stuff. Uh, some people, some scholars like to believe that he gave this speech slash sermon on the Arabella, which is the ship that brought the Massachusetts Bay Colony to the New World. Uh, more recent studies showed that he actually did it before they even stepped foot on the Arabella. That could have been the night before four, a couple of days earlier, we're not a hundred percent sure when, but more study more recent studies show that it was before they even got on the Arabella. The importance on Puritan life, it the most important one is it teaches on uh giving. As some of y'all read, Brad Streets here follows some verses upon the burning of our house. She talks about the prosperity in heaven being more important than the prosperity on earth. That goes hand in hand with what, what John Winthrop is trying to say. Uh, because he sees heavenly treasures more important than earthly treasures because once you die, your earthly treasures aren't going to be here. Or aren't going to be of any importance, should I say. Also, he likes to talk about how if the borrower has no means to pay back, then the lender shouldn't just let the person borrow, but should actually give it to them, which is a very important character trait uh, because it shows a lot of compassion from the Christians that he is talking about. He also, In his version of karma, he likes to talk about how you can prepare for disaster by giving away your extra profits. Like, there's a guy in the Bible who he mentions that whenever he had extra crops, instead of giving away his extra crops, he built new barns to store them in. And they ended up rotting, so they ended up being of no good to anybody, and it was just a waste. So, he sees it as more important to give it away. Also, by giving away your extras to the, to the poor and needy, whenever, if, you become poor and needy. He sees it as a way that your needs will be met as well. And which is pretty cool all around because even though he doesn't call it karma, it's his version of karma.